there welcome to my channel i'm mary the share lady and uh, on this video i want to challenge myself out of my comfort zone i want to do um, a project i want to do wallpaper installation um so i'll be doing the wallpaper installation on this wall this one over here because i want to make uh, this side the this wall i want to make it as an accent wall and i'll be doing wallpaper i've never done wallpaper before so this is something that i'm doing out of my comfort zone so the whole plan is to move the tv or the entertainment system the cabinet and everything else from this wall this wall here and to this other side this is the wallpaper it's a i'm hoping it's a brick wallpaper I'm not even sure of the color it has strikes of gray brown on the dark side I'm hoping I only have two rolls and I'm I'm hoping it will be enough I've never done this before I'm so anxious I hope it will the two rolls will be enough for this um, wall from that corner all the way to that corner from top to bottom so I have two rolls I'm hoping it will be enough I'm just hoping it will be enough um two rolls and then I have the glue so the wallpaper I got it for 700 shillings I bought it um initially plus the glue the glue was going for 300 sometimes there are places you'll find they're selling you know cheaper even the wallpaper there are places they sell at 600 but mine I managed to get it at 700 which so before I do anything else, I have to prep the wall. So I have to remove the picture frames and then that lamp over there. And then I'll have to clean the wall, you know, to wipe it off because there could be dust or anything else that is there. So I have to remove that at first. For the materials that I I will be using uh, for this project, I have a roller. Um, I have a brush in case I need one. Scissors. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this one. I have a tape measure. I have the glue, the wallpaper glue, and the blade. I also have this towel. I will be using it at some point. And then the spoon, the bucket that I'll be mixing the glue in. And then the water. Um, so because I don't have a scraper, I'm just going to try to use this cardboard. It's just a paper board. This is what I'll be using as a scraper. Hopefully it works. I will now mix the glue. This is glue. It's in powder form. And I'll be mixing bit by bit. I'll be adding water bit by bit until I get a thick paste. Um, then I'm going to leave it for like 10, 10 minutes for it to settle. Then stir. And then I'll start to use it paste is ready I mixed in and left in to sit for like um, 10 minutes now the paste is ready I have done while the while the paste was sitting I have measured the the length of the wall using the tape and I have gone ahead to cut the wallpaper piece according to the length of course I have added extra extra length I've added extra length that I will cut out
that part I have been doing off camera yeah so this is the fourth piece I'm starting to think that two rolls will not be enough for the whole of the wall I might have to go back and get another roll just to finish the part here because now already that is one roll okay that is one roll and you can see the the remaining part so it's evident it's already evident that it's already evident that the the remaining roll there's a possibility it will not be enough for this part but uh, so far so good um the for the first time installing wallpaper i think this is good work so let's see let's see at the end how it's all going to be It's already getting so late um so initially what i'm doing i'm measuring the length of the wall and then i'm taking the wallpaper and trying to match the pattern before i cut to the length of the measurement then now what i'll do i'll just flip flip it upside down and then on this side i'll glue then i'll glue the wall then i'll continue to amount the wallpaper
finally done with the wallpaper installation I'm a first timer and this is the end result so yesterday I ran late there were some patches that were left so that is what I was just filling up today because the two rolls were not enough so I needed to add an extra roll to fill up the patches they were very small patches but I needed an another roll of wallpaper yeah so what is left is over there yeah so basically it, it has um it has taken two rolls of wallpaper and a half I think this is so lovely being a first timer So this is my end end result on a DIY wallpaper installation. It's a brick wallpaper. I don't have any prior experience with wallpaper installation. It was my first time. Um, it took me some time to get you know the hold of it, but once I did, let's keep going.